So behind us we have the CX-300 from Beta. It is our conventional takeoff and landing aircraft that's all electric, which is really cool because it means that we can use existing runway infrastructure to uh, electrify, electrify aviation today. So it's fully electric. Uh, it can fly about 215 nautical miles and carry five passengers with one pilot or a bunch of payload too. You touched on a really important topic, and that's the infrastructure. So you're doing a lot, I think, compared to everybody else on the electrification. So what, what are you working on right now, and how, how far is that uh, footprint starting to expand? Yeah, for sure. So we're building a nationwide network of charging infrastructure at airports. We currently have about 64 sites with some of those under construction right now. And basically, we know that we have to build an industry for these aircraft. We can't just build a great airplane and let the rest work nope. itself out. Yep. We need the infrastructure, we need the maintenance and aftermarket support for those airplanes, and it's a whole ecosystem that we're building. So this aircraft being conventional takeoff and landing, being certified under part 23, but you're working on vertical takeoff and landing as well. Can you tell me a little bit about what that looks like and how, how things are progressing on that side? At Beta, we really take a pragmatic approach to a, kind of a crawl, walk, run. So do the stuff that we can de-risk and accomplish rapidly, and then use that to build on to do the harder stuff like VTOL. So we're certifying first our CTOL under part 23 before we move into a VTOL uh, under powered lift, which will uh, just make the process a lot faster. The CTOL and VTOL are around 80% similar from a design point of view. The VTOL just having uh, extended booms on the front and four lift motors on each corner. So it makes a lot of sense.